What's up guys? Can you guess what we're going to talk about today? What you see here before you is a Gorillapod 3K and a Gorillapod 5K. I just upgraded to the 5K and we'll get into the reasons why. In terms of using the Gorillapod, my uses are using Sony cameras, an AS2 and an A7C, and either hiking, vlogging, or doing cooking videos. Now, if you've watched any of my videos for any period of time, you'll know that last year I hiked up Long's Peak, which is a 12 hour round trip, 14,000 foot peak in Colorado. And I had the 3K tucked right into my belt. The weight was great, I pull it off, I put the camera on and it was great. The problem is, is that over time, I've had this for about a year and these legs start getting really loosey-goosey and it can be super frustrating if you need to move quickly like I do a lot of times in these cooking videos and this thing is doing this and then your camera drops off the side from here to the floor which it has I thought the a7c was gone after only having it for two weeks I thought it was done God. So if you're considering getting a Gorillapod for vlogging or in a similar scenario that I'm talking about, you may want to think twice about the 3K just because over time these legs get super wobbly. If you do decide on the 3K, at a minimum, I highly recommend getting rid of the standard ball head that comes with it. It's got this weird triangular piece that requires a coin uh, to put in the bottom of your camera. And it's just, it's just kind of this weird piece. I, I immediately upgraded to the 3K Pro, which is what you see here. Had a lot of success, really liked it. Um, just much more sturdy in terms of the head uh, and easier to use. So I'm going to demonstrate and this is not me goofing around. This is an A7S II, kind of a standard vlogging setup. I'm going to show you some of the, the frustrations I have felt. So here we are. You got the legs straightened out. You're vlogging. Hey, baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're doing your thing. And now, you're, maybe you're hiking or you're in the kitchen. Now you got to put this thing back down so I'm going to, oh, that's, that happens all the time to me, by the way, these sockets get loose, that's not me goofing around either, so I'm going to try to get this in the right position here, okay, okay, and we're good here, but then oftentimes I need to tilt the head down when I'm doing these cooking videos, so I set this down, I tilt it downwards. Oh, there it goes, okay. Try to try to get this back up, okay. Mm -hmm. and, and, and keep in mind, I'm moving around constantly because I'm cooking and trying to film at the same time. So now I'm trying to get this set up. Okay, I need this to go for, oh, nope. All right, okay. So, okay, try it again. Um, Okay, there it is, all right. Okay, all right, that's good. Okay, now I need to move it, okay. I'm gonna tilt the head down, okay. And, and, and that goes, I can do that endlessly. And when I'm trying to cook and film at the same time, I let loose a lot of because that thing is collapsing. I take it outside when I'm cooking stuff on the grill, try to set it up, almost falls over onto the concrete. It, it's just, 
it has become insanely frustrating to use. So about a couple of weeks ago, I got so frustrated I just bought the 5K. And one thing I'll point out, th this, this ball head is really secure and tight and nice. I use a peak design clip that I can clip into my backpack when I go hiking. So I can leave it on with either Gorillapod. And now it's, it's noticeably stiffer. So when I'm, when I'm in a hurry and I'm trying to get things done, okay, boom, get tighten that. Okay, right, we need to, we need to uh, face the camera down. Okay, I need to get that angle. All right, we're good. Good to go, okay. And I can just manipulate this endlessly and because it's so stiff, I'm never having problems with using it. My recommendation is get the 5K to start with. If you're using similar cameras, similar weights, that 3K just tends to lose its stiffness and it becomes insanely frustrating and dangerous to your gear. I'll still use the 3K because I've got a DJI Osmo Pocket that I can set on that thing and or with my phone and it's that's very lightweight. Um, so I'll still use that. But when I'm going hiking or I'm doing vlogging or cooking videos, I'm using the 5K. So if you're in the market and you're really looking at Gorilla Pods, I would consider the 5K because in a year you'll probably buy another one anyway if you buy the 3K first. So that's it. Uh, hope this was helpful. Talk to you soon.